Hey, at the end of the day, welcome back to RV Away. As you can see, I live in a 1979 RV. My name is Will Carl, and I'm actually 23 now. This is also my RV. Uh, the guy told me it's a 1955 Rambler, but there's no really, there's no real way of knowing what the year is until I find a VIN number or hopefully a manual. Sorry if my audio doesn't sound very good. Um, normally I have a microphone, but I lost my transmitter or my transceiver, so it's the thing that goes in my phone that catches the audio and I can't find it I misplaced it my allergies are also kicking really bad I don't know why they just got really bad right before I came in here just had a sneezing fit sorry about that but main thing I noticed in here is that so I saw these little indention holder things and I was like what is that for is that for like a curtain rod to hold stuff up here but that honestly didn't make much sense so then I was looking around, I noticed there is a pole here, right? Right? So what I noticed, hopefully you guys will be able to see this and get the gist of it. If I lift this up and put this pole on those pegs that I just showed you guys, bam, is it not so freaking cool, dude? You put the pegs right there, and it give you all this room, like a little bedroom, dude. That's so gas. Oh my God. So all this insulation board is everywhere. Like I said, I was kind of trying to figure out why it felt so dark in here and like not homey. And it's because so many of the windows are boarded up or covered up. And so there's not much natural light. So first thing I'm gonna do is get all these windows uncovered, get some natural light in here. Insulation is cool, but it's summertime. We don't need it. Hey, Waymakers, how y'all doing? I like the shirt, My Hero Academia. Hey, it's old, bro. Super old. I know they didn't kind of fell off a little bit, but right. it was good. It had a good run, no lie. seems so like dark and gloomy back here it's just like that and there's two more windows up here so i'm gonna, just, I'm gonna take this mattress out and take it to the dumpster with my truck maybe the landfill hold on the speaker in the dumpster i use duct tape for your walls either because it'll take a layer off and leave residue i don't have to do with a heat gun with that but it's just the inconvenience. cleaned up well not cleaned up got everything out the windows kind of trying to look like a normal camper in here like it's not abandoned got a lot of windows these window uh 
handles missing like this i replaced them in the 79 before and i actually have a few i have a few extra so i should be able to install those order some too so i can make all the windows work there's a pretty nice breeze coming in here gotta throw the net back in here get the bugs out yeah a decent amount of light love to see that gotta throw all this stuff in the way now all this insulation and I literally had this in here too, man. Like, what? So, yeah, sorry about my nose. Obviously, with all the dust in the air, it's not been nice. Yeah, man. It's coming along. Slowly but surely. Ah, rough in there. So I cleaned all, so I got every, most everything bagged up. But as you can see up here, I did miss this. It's kind of blocked in by this light. But you can also see, it looked like it must have leaked. It looked like it must have leaked at one point uh, from here. As you can see, the edges kind of look different. Which is what the Vagabond has also. Kind of a weird peeling around the, uh, peeling around the edges where it kind of leaked so I'm guessing it was a leak right there um overall not too bad though not too bad um I don't know if I can put the mattresses in the dumpster if it has it goes like the land it looks on the feels a lot homier in here already which I think Feels to me I like this little cubby thing man I'm tired Another rug, Dr. Rent, maybe. This one definitely don't smell like pee or cigarettes, though. We'll see. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. This thing has stinks. Don't play. Look at this. A bunch of VCR movies. Bro, all this dust has my nose going crazy. Sorry about all the sniffling. Look at this. This corner bracket. This one broke off over here on this side. So many crazy VCR movies. I think this is a laptop. Yeah, 
I think this is an old Dell laptop. <laughs> Gotta try to see if that thing works. Oh yeah, that I don't. That smells just old. It's so much dust and allergies. My nose is literally dripping. I know it's disgusting. I think I want y'all to understand how bad, like, my allergies are with all the dust in here. Woo! That's a too bad allergy pill. Definitely gonna take one tonight, so I'll be more prepared tomorrow. But oh, brother, my nose, my nose and my eyes. Oh man. I'm really wondering about is this thing i don't know if this is like a ac and a heater it i don't know it seems like it i forgot to get this stuff out of here they put insulation in there i think or maybe that's supposed to be in there i don't know like i said i don't know what this is if you don't have any idea what this is let me know i'm trying to do some research like i said normally you would find all this information in the owner's manuals but if he's not having knobs on it I have to go through everything and see if I can find the owner's manual. So it will give me all the information I need to know. Also, a very interesting thing to note, there's a lip here and a lip here, which means there's supposed to be a table or a board that sits here that be to become a bed. I think it was removed. Normally what you would have is a table with a round pole I showed you in the pop-up video, if you want to go back to that one and check it out, but it's supposed to be a table with a round pole, and a round hole in the bottom, and then a round pole goes into the table, and also goes into the floor right here. And you can sit, you can sit right here, you can eat on the table, and then whenever you're done, you can lay said table down on here, and then you would have an extra bed, you know, with some mattresses or with these pillow covers, but it seems like somebody removed that as well, so... I might look at the game one of those, maybe not. It smells old in here too. It looks like a water connection, but I don't know to what. This is the bathroom. That's the toilet. I don't know why, but what? Is the water supposed to go all the way down there? That's crazy. Maybe it's supposed to fill up with water. I think you have a handle mechanism as well as a step mechanism to step on it and flush it. Uh. <laughs> pretty cool a little outlet on the back of the sink that gives you a shower function so i can take me a real quick shower in here and it drains out the bottom of the floor probably goes right into the bottom of the gray tank um, insulation looks like a sewer a backflow sewer uh and so i can probably wash my black tank out that's cool that's helpful little window a little light it's the light. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know how to use that. It's that old technology. Oh, and I'm pretty sure this is the vent from the black tank that vents up and keeps the smell out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Small things like that interest me. Oh, it's also one of my screen nets. Probably goes on one of the windows. I think it's a medicine cabinet. Maybe it opens, maybe not. Maybe it's something living in there. <coughs> yeah, all these cabinets are just empty. Empty cabinets. And this is just kind of disgusting. So I'm about to give this a nice. Y'all just heard that big bang. Don't be alarmed, it scared me too. I think it was the wind just pushed my door closed with that on there, so don't be alarmed, okay. Thought my camper fell over for a second while I was inside of it. I think this is the fridge exhaust right here, above the fridge. Um, I could be wrong. This is the fridge. I don't think that's working. Might have just took a whole light. Yeah, just removed the whole light stuck in the fridge. This isn't working right now, and I'm not sure why. It's a little ice box. Cool. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Man, 
Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't really seem like it's working right now, but I had to take a look at it. At the back access. Love the blue on it though. I <laughs> love all the drawer space. He was saying that there's more, there's more, um, there's more of these somewhere for these. But like I said, we'll do more of a deep dive and find them. Take the space under there too. Yeah, man, I'm happy with it. I'm very satisfied. <laughs> the little light. How do you cut that? How do you even cut that on? Oh, I see. Wow. Nice. See the fan? Maybe the does, does the fan work? Oh, it's slow. Slow to start up, but it works. Awesome. Some more lights. So cool. So cool. Yeah, you can even open this bad boy. Whew. So yeah, like I said, obviously we're gonna fiddle around in this thing some more. Insulation warranty. Oh. Like I said, maybe I'll be able to find a VIN number somewhere. I'm gonna have to look inside of all these cabinet doors. Usually where you'll find something like that. Inside a cabinet. But Think. Kind of a closer look at the inside. I know I didn't clean too much, but I'm very happy with it. Are y'all happy with it? Let me know. Obviously, we haven't given up on this girl. Still working on her. As you can see, it's literally starting to rain as I'm talking right now. This keeps putting a lot of wrenches in my plans. Trying to sit outside and sandblast while you're getting rained on is not fun. So I keep getting prolonged by monsoon season. But eventually, eventually we'll get everything knocked out, man. Just stick around with me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know. I know there was a lot of things in there that I had no idea about. I kept saying I'm confused. Oh no. Let me know if y'all have any idea at all. Because yeah, as y'all know, I'm only 23. I only got so much knowledge in this noodle. So I appreciate everything from y'all. It's all for me today. RB away. Finger hearts. Howdy.